Okay, listen up, because there is a secret which the geeks and the nerds know about how to better protect and defend their online accounts. How to prevent people from breaking into their Google account or their Dropbox account or their Facebook or their Twitter account. Maybe you don't know it, but it's about time you did because you want to better defend those accounts. The trick, I hope no one's listening, is two factor authentication. Also sometimes known as login verifications or known as two step verification. What two-factor authentication gives you is it doesn't just rely upon you and only, hopefully you, knowing a password. It's also relying upon you and only you having something in your physical possession, like this, okay? This was given to me by my bank. And whenever I want to transfer money from a bank account into a bank account, which maybe I've never given money to before, it says, oh, Graham, you've got to enter the random number. So I grab this thing and I, I have to enter my passcode and I, it will spit out a random number and I then have to enter that random number into the website. And the website then thinks, oh yeah, the bank. Oh, hello, I'm the bank here. Yes, well, Graham, you've already logged in with your password, which hopefully you haven't shared with anyone else and you haven't made to be password one or anything obvious. But more than that, you've also been able to give us the right random number. And it thinks, chances are you really are Graham. So we'll move ahead with that. Well, that's fantastic. And that's great for banks and things. What about your email account? What about your World of Warcraft account? What about your Dropbox account or your Microsoft account or your Google account? Your account, your Twitter account, your Twitter account. Right? What about all of those? It would be horrendous if you had to carry 57 of these around in your pocket, wouldn't it? And that's why typically they don't bother giving you one of those. Instead, what they will do is they'll say, oh, we can text you a magic little number to your phone. Here's my cheap little Nokia. It's fantastic, this. It lasts about three weeks. Hasn't got a polyphonic ringtone. Can't get Facebook on it. What could be better? Mwah! Love it. So have a little one of these and it will text the number. Alternatively, you could have an app on your smartphone and your smartphone app will give you a list of the random numbers for the various websites you've set up two-factor authentication for. One of the most common apps is one called Google Authenticator. Doesn't just work with Google, works with a myriad of other sites as well using a common standard. So the beauty of this, don't drop your smartphone, group. the beauty of this is that even if something horrendous happens, like you tell someone your password or you get fished or someone works out your password because you made it too obvious, doesn't actually matter that much because if you've secured your website with that additional layer of security of requiring the magic random number to be entered as well even if the hacker has your password they can't get in so it's fantastic two-factor authentication is a better way to secure your accounts there are various types of attacks which hackers can do but in the multitude of cases it really will help you and it's not just me who's saying this guess what there's a geezer called Barack Obama who's written an article for the Wall Street Journal. He actually says this. We are launching a new national awareness campaign to raise awareness of cyber threats. Well, nice one, Barack. Carry on. Tell me more. And we are going to encourage more Americans to move beyond passwords. Mm-hmm. Adding an extra layer of security like a fingerprint or codes sent to your cell phone. Isn't that fantastic? What he is basically saying is, for goodness sake, let's all embrace two-factor authentication. It will give us a higher level of security. And you can do this on so many sites right now. Just go into the settings of your account and often under security, you will find something. It may be called login verifications. It may be called two-step verification. It may be called two-factor authentication. Turn on those kind of features and you will better secure your account from the hackers. Now, the nerds and the geeks already know this. Now you have to ask yourself, why didn't they tell you sooner? Look after yourself. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like it and check out some of the other videos I've made as well. And if you really want me to make more vids, then subscribe to my channel. All right? So, have you subscribed yet? Come on, subscribe.